Hi there, this video is going to show you a little bit about the program Badger as well as kind of gamifying your class inside of Canvas. I'm going to start with the program called Badger. Um, this is how it's spelled. And basically when you connect Badger to Canvas, you'll get a link on the left called Badges. When you click on that link, your modules will come up because you're going to connect badges to modules and you're able to then link a badge to each module. So I've got several badges here. Let me find a module without any badges. So to add a badge, you simply click the down arrow. If you've already got a badge created, you can simply select it or you can create a new badge from scratch. And so then once you've done that, it will populate right here and this is the badge that your students will earn when they have completed that module. So it's kind of the setup. It's a really short setup. Um, you can probably Google some YouTube videos on how to actually set up your badges. But as a teacher then I can go to progress and I am showing you a professional development course with teachers in it so these are not student names. And what it will do is show you all of the badges possible, and there's a little scroll if you have a lot of them. And then the ones that are still grayed out are the ones that student can still earn, and then ones that are colored in are the ones that student has earned. And so again, you can kind of scroll through to see what are some of the badges those students have earned. The leaderboard is what is available to everyone to you the teacher as well as the students and this is where they can go to see where they rank among their peers now the leaderboard gives students um, animal aliases so on the teachers end I can see the name again these are teachers not students but I can see the name I can also see the alias. On the student's end, they can only see the alias. So it does um, protect student, student privacy. The student does have the option to change their animal name to their real name. But again, that's an option that the student enables on their own Canvas device. So if they want to let the world know where they, you know, who they are, they can. But by default, all students are given an alias name. So here you can kind of see my leaderboard. It'll just kind of go down and then you can see where they fall. It also tells how many badges are possible and how many are earned. And then again with our scroll, we can go over and see what badges have been earned. Oh, lots of people earn the Gmail one. Excellent. So that's just a very quick overview of Badger and how it works. Again, it connects to modules. So I'm going to go into a class and show you then how I set that up. So here is one of my gamified units. I gamify by unit. Some teachers do by, you know, nine weeks or a semester or however you want to set up. There's really no one right way to gamify. Um, you can go all in. You can dip your toes in. Uh, you could do it by week. It's however you want to set it up. I, when first started gamifying, thought doing a whole nine weeks would just be too overwhelming. So I picked one unit to start with, just kind of dip my toes in, see how it went, and I kind of built from there. So I've got my unit um, in multiple modules, as you can see here. And what I decided to do, I teach eighth grade. So with middle schoolers, they're all into video games. So I decided to do a video game theme. There are so many gamified themes you could have out there. Um, space, you could do Harry Potter, like there's so many, you could do sports, so many options, but I went with video games. So in a video game, you level up, okay? You power up, you level up. So I organized my unit into levels. And with modules, you can set requirements and prerequisites. So in addition to gamifying, I am doing some mastery learning. Students have to master the content in one level in order to move up to level two, just like in a video game, right? You have to meet all the requirements in order to move on. So all you do in your module is use these three dots here. You say edit. 
You can add a prerequisite. I don't do this for level one, but I will show you how to do it for all the other levels. But I said students must complete the requirements in uh, all of them, and then they must do them in order. And then what other requirement do I want? Well, with this last activity, they have to score at least an 18 out of 20 in order to move on. So this is a Canvas quiz. Make sure if you are gonna do a score at least um, requirement that you provide multiple attempts or even unlimited attempts in that quiz. Otherwise, you'll lock them out and they can't move on. So just kind of keep that in mind. There are other requirements you could do. I'm going to go ahead and say add requirement and show you the different options. So if you want to, you could require that they view the item or mark the item as done or contribute to the page. Um, all of those work great. You could put a requirement on every activity you have in the module. It's really however you want to set it up. Right, I'm going to say update. I'm going to go back here. So for me, let me click in here. My level one um, is, so I'm using, I, I'm using, oh shoot, what was, oh, is this Zelda. Zelda video game is my storyline. So I created my badges to represent that storyline, that video game. So this is my level one badge that students will earn. It's called the Lost Woods uh, if they complete level one successfully. All right. Um, let me go ahead and click the link. Oh, it's, yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, I won't be able to actually show you the activity because I'm in a course where I haven't linked it yet. This is a course without students in it. But basically, um, my first hour would click here, my second hour would click here, and they would complete the activity that I had for them. When they came back, they would simply say level up, and it would take them to the quiz they needed to pass. Remember, it said they had to score at least an 18 out of 20 in order to move on. So if I go back to modules, let me remind you what that looks like. So here was the activity they did. This is basically the learning activity. This is teaching them what clauses and phrases are. They had to complete that, the, the lecture part, if you will, of the assignment. And then they had to pass the quiz showing they had learned that material. If they did that, they would get the badge. Now in this particular Gamified, all I did for the badge was take an image and link it. Okay, so students could come and get this image and then they could save it to their Google Drive, put it on social media, download it to their device. They could do whatever they wanted with it. Um, this would be a different process than the Badger program that I just showed you where it's all in Canvas. So this one was a little bit different. This one's easier. If Badger seems overwhelming to you, um, just do this. Just link the badge and let kids get it. They can't get this badge until they've scored at least 18 out of 20 because remember I set up prerequisites. They have to go in order and they have to meet the requirement before the next thing opens. So if they score 18, 19, or 20, then they will have access to the badge. Okay, then the other thing I want to show you with level two, notice it says prerequisite level one. So in order for this module to open up to the student, they have to successfully complete this module. And then you'll notice I did that all the way down through my unit. So it keeps them going in order. It has the mastering content as they go so that by the time they get to the test, they should have completed everything and successfully mastered everything, that test should be um, fairly simple for them because they spent the time doing the work. So that's how I gamify my classroom. I hope that gives you some ideas of what you could do with modules and gamifying. But again, I just want to emphasize there's no one right way to do it. Um, if this seems a little overwhelming to you, just gamify one lesson or one week at a time and, and just kind of dip your toes in.